Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Now today's home screen was created by Alex T and all I can say is it was unbelievable. One of the probably one of the best home screens I've ever seen. You really want to watch this video tutorial. It's basically Alex T1 Android 0. Just something I'd like to add in my last video tutorial titled slide which you can see over there I put up a vote saying would you like longer videos or shorter videos and as a result of 21 votes to 6 I can say that you wanted longer videos that are more descriptive so this one is going to be just that the reason why I say this is because this one deals with Photoshop but wait please don't change your channel I know the last time you used Photoshop was when you accidentally clicked on it by mistake and trying to open up something else but do not worry I'm also a beginner so I'm gonna be showing you the quickest steps and hopefully the simplest steps on giving you this exact screen. Now I bet you want to see this, this screen now don't you? Well then let's get to it. Now this home screen is called flip cards and you might be thinking well why is it called flip cards? It's just got a UCCW with some fancy looking icons. Well my subscribed viewer if you want to get to say for example your music widget there is your music. You want to get to your RSS there is your RSS. Let me get back back mind blown. So now first off you're probably loving this screen right now I know I am. First time I saw it, I nearly fell off my chair. So, and seeing as this is a video tutorial, I'm going to be bringing you how to make this exact screen for your phone. That's right, your phone. Let us begin. Okay, so I'm going to start you off from the very stock Apex launcher. So, we first want to, as you can see, nothing, everything is as stock as it can be. So, we want to go into our Apex settings. So once that's set up, you want to go into, hold down on the home screen, widgets. Next we'll be using our UCCW. Now you can select any size. Let's go for a 4x4. Now if you want to have LXT's ones that you saw there with the with the, that paper effect background as well as the icons and the text, then you'll go and download his usips. You're going to, you copy them onto your phone, wherever you want. See, I'll put it in a folder called Flipkart and now you'll see three called flip home flip music flip rss so let's go into flip home doesn't matter what size you put it it'll always become this size so we will hold down and resize it to this position and now there's one thing we want to do we want to tap on it and it'll bring it up into our editor here our uccw editor and we want to go select object background make sure that is selected next what we'll go is color we'll make it white as you can see the background has gone purely white which is a good thing don't worry next we want to do is select the plus slash minus which is your add items and you want to take off the time as you can see it is a completely blank skin if we go back it is blank as blank can be great if you can get to here you're off to a good start next thing we want to do is take a screenshot of this exact screen so my rom comes with a screenshot app already built into it but don't worry there's a lot of free apps available on the market for enabling screenshots so I'll just take a screenshot that takes a screenshot boom screenshot now you want to put that onto your computer if you don't have Wi-Fi set up you can just simply plug in your USB put it on your computer so from here we're gonna move on to our Photoshop and remember it's very very simple it's about 10 steps that you have to follow and they are very easy to follow and it'll work for any screen so let's head to the computer okay starting from our desktop as you can see we have our screenshot here and the white paper texture so we're gonna right click on our screenshot and we want to go open with Adobe Photoshop or Adobe however you want to say it as you can see it's opened up so the first thing we want to do is change the color of this and make it a layer now if you don't know what a layer is think of it as a cheese sandwich where your UCCW is a cheese and your background is the bread so the first thing you want to do is select your little magic wand here try and not have a background that's got a lot of whites in it as it might get a bit crazy with selecting your magic wand because what this will do is select only the white UCCW once that is done we'll click on our selection over here our selection box and we'll right click and say layer via copy 
and it has now created a layer on the side you can see here. So now that means that this is a new layer on top of this background with the old layer, if that makes sense. Next we want to do, so with our magic wand we'll select it and then we'll go to our selection little box thing again and right click and say fill and you'll see a content under use you'll see color and you want to select color. Now you'll go to red, you want to change red, green and blue all to 32 and it'll make this nice black but not so black color and we'll click OK okay and it has now made that new layer very dark color now we want to change the background but we want to change it to that awesome looking white paper texture so we'll minimize this and we'll go into our white paper texture that you've copied here and we'll go back to our Photoshop and then just drag it on simple as that as you can see it's on in front of your cheese you can call it just drag it so it covers the entire wallpaper and you'll select the tick bar at the top little selection thing great it's on there but now we can't see our layer one our cheese so we want to drag this below and it has now reappeared and there we have it now we just need to save this bad boy so we'll click file at the top save as we'll go format you can make it a PNG save you just click slowest and none okay and it is that simple now all we need to do is paste this back onto our phone so we can minimize this there you can see is our PNG wallpaper that you'll be using for all of them and now we'll put that onto our phone by either using USB cable or through Dropbox or whatever is easier for you let's get back to the my color screen board see now that wasn't too hard now was it so now we want to change our wallpaper to the one that we just created on Photoshop. So we'll go menu and we want to go wallpaper and go, I don't know, you can use quick pick or whatever. And now you want to go, go to where you've saved it. I'll put it in that same folder. And there we have it. Make sure it takes up the whole block because it's now a single screen. And you'll go save. And voila, as you can see, pretty cool, hey? So now we'll go into back, back into this UCCW, go menu open imports manage open manage that should be for the updated one I made it a bit confusing there and you want to just as you can see I've imported mine already if not you just go import instead of open and manage and let's go flip RSS for example and we'll go back boom RSS done next we can move on to our music and we want to go widgets do the exact same thing resize and it should now fill up the whole screen like that finally is our home do the same thing and as you can see for our home screen i already have these icons added the ones by alex t now if you want to add them i highly recommend going resize making that smaller like that and then placing an icon if you want to place an icon by pushing in your app drawer so now you just want to add the calculator hold down drag it is there it is you can't really see it too well now but you can probably see it better on your own phone so once that's done and we've got our home screen there we just resize it back and boom remember if you want to hold down and go send to back on your uccw just so you can select your icons and that and it op opens up anything that you need i've just put in any random ones here you can put in whatever else you want but now just checking out let's see it music news for our music i used let's hold down here and go widgets it's phantom music controller like that and you just want to change your true theme to inverted black on white and you want no background confirm resize put over there boom there it is finally for our news remember just to resize this we want to put on a larger widget we'll hold down and go widgets minimal reader pro free version still good but the pro is cool because you can make it scrollable and we'll go under our final one which is our colors our final tab and you want to make everything transparent transparent text size small tell of the color let's make it black use content color black and blog date color let's make it white finally in our display we want to hide buttons hide counter hide block title hide dates and yeah let's go update widget and see what it looks like 
boom, now you can see, obviously you can't see it, but we're just going to resize our RSS over again, and we can just resize this like that, and there we have our feeds, our RSS feeds set up. Very finally, or the most final thing, you want to add in your app drawer at the bottom corner. Now there are two ways of doing this, you can either just go hold down options, apex settings, app drawer, and you'll see a little app drawer there, and you can move it in the corner there. So if you're happy with it going with the screen, then you can leave it like this. But however, if you want it to stick to the screen, you don't want it to go with your screen, there's just one more thing that you'd want to do. I highly recommend doing this with our music, so we'll just get rid of everything on the screen. And now, as always, take a screenshot. So we'll take a screenshot of that, boom, of that, and we'll hold down, go wallpapers, quick pick wallpaper, and you want to scroll to your screenshots folder, or wherever your screenshots get saved. Go into my screenshots, there it is, there's my screenshot, go save. Now, as you can see, that icon does, doesn't have to, well, it can be transparent now. So we'll drag it across here, and just go edit, tap the picture, select picture, quick pick, and we can make it a blank PNG. So there's our blank PNG, go OK, and you can move it over, and you move it over there. So now, when you swap to things, it stays like that. We'll just add in our music widget back, or our skin again, and there we have our home screen set up. As you can see now, the app drawer is now working, our flipboard is now working, or our flip cards, and it also tutorial completes. Sorry if it's been a very long tutorial, but maybe it's been too long, but I just had to show you the Photoshop just so you can get a better understanding of it. I really hope you do. Please subscribe to the channel and also check out the other playlists. They are getting quite crazy and you don't want to miss out. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you around next time.